Man, we look bad. You ready? Uh, Hello, welcome to Star Family Farm. I'm Christy, your hairy host. <laughs> I'm RJ, your dead one. Uh, <laughs> your sleepy one. Um, yeah, we've been out in the barn, so or I've been out in the barn working. What have you been doing? Nothing. Taking a nap. Um, this is episode 144, right? Yep. On July Whatever what? Whatever the header says. Whatever the header says on July 15th. 2017. Now today we're going to mix it up a little bit and we're not going to do our typical up to date. And you can leave comments below telling us if you like or dislike. We want to know if we should keep doing the um, update type podcast or if we should go to like a blog style everyday thing. Um, we're looking to see what people want so let us know. I kind of like the um, podcast on the weekends. Maybe we can do blog during the week. I don't know. But uh, this gets me and him in one place at one time. I get time with my son. So I kind of like these, but hey, it is what it is and it's what everybody wants. So, all right, are you ready? What are we doing different today? We're not going to be seeing that, are we? What are we doing different today? I got myself this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this time we are going to show you where we've been and where we've come from. Um, we do these updates, but you know, if you started following us, because we've evolved as the internet has evolved. You started out with a blog, correct? Mm -hmm. um, before that, we didn't do Facebook or anything like that. So, and even before that, when we first... We had a MySpace account. We did. We had it on MySpace beforehand. Now all of that's gone. So um, we did MySpace. MySpace still exists. It still exists only because you didn't delete it. But um, anyway, so we've evolved with the internet as long as the internet has been going. So um, we did a blog first, and then we still do the blog. He's just not daily at it because high school has quit, and mom can't say, "Sit down and do your blog." Um, but then we've also done the YouTube thing for those that requested because when we start changing things, their eyes have trouble. We had some older ladies that liked to hear RJ stories and wanted to know what was going on on the farm, but they just, staring at a computer wasn't something that they could do. So they could turn the podcast on and just listen. Um, but if you don't, if you didn't follow us all through all that, you don't know where we started at. And we started the orchard back when he was like six, before we were even on the internet, before we had internet at this house. So, yeah, we're going to take you back and walk you through what was and what is now. Things that have changed and things that have stayed the same. So, if you don't want to see, that's fine. There's a lot of pictures and us talking, but not a whole lot of banter between him and I, just mostly about pictures. So, we will get to it. And if you want to hear it, fine. If you don't, Leave a comment below. Tell us why you don't care for this kind of update or why you do care for this kind of update. If this is amazing to see the differences. <sighs> anyway, we're going to get right on that. The new intro is a picture of how the house was and how it is today. Okay, so here's the back of the house when we moved here. And this is the back of the house now, but the big tree died, so we had to go take and cut it down. The next picture is um, the back of the house. It hasn't changed much. The old tree was there, and they had a picnic table there. Our picnic tables are in a different spot now. Now it looks something like this. Um, you can see all our tools from our work in the other day, so there it is. Okay, my favorite picture is the one with all the sheep because that kind of is the way it is today. Okay, this next picture is the side of the house. There's little RJ. You see how tiny he was. Um, there was a shed and a tree, and we've had to redo all of that thanks to a microburst. Now that's the goat pen, and we have pinched that off across there. You see the old slab there in the um, foreground of where um, the shed was. As you can see in the old goat pen, there used to be a 
garden that was nothing more than a pile of weeds. So we got that cleaned up and it's now grassy and good for the goats. It's all and the goat pen. We moved the garden down here um, and we planted the trees years and years ago. But then we added the new barn. That's right. So that's a big difference. Okay, so here's the dog pen as it was before we cleaned it up. And this is it now. We found a big old snake in there. Okay, so when we first moved out here, these pens weren't really used a whole lot. But you can see the hay was stored in them. And they were over infested with weeds, huh? Yeah. Out there where that hay is, is where the bull is now. And... We've cleaned up a lot of those pens, and here's a different angle of it, too. So this pen is the front horse pen, right? And really all we've done to it is clean it up and, and put it to good use, correct, son? Yep. Star's in there right now. Okay, this is the back of the barn. What you can't see is that there was fencing piles um, behind that trailer and that hay. Now it looks like this, all cleaned up. And we just put the flatbed there because the goats and sheep chew on the wires for lights on the other trailers. Okay, so this is the old shed that was on the pasture. The only thing difference is that now we've what? Fenced, fenced it, it off and made it into the new kept pen. That's Yay. where all the baby kids are. Okay, so this is the old barn, and in the beginning it was just kind of abandoned, and now... We're actually putting it to use. Yes, we have some stuff stacked up against it, but that's our fencing stuff. Yeah, and the baler's underneath, right? Yep. And the sprayer's in the front. Okay, so the old equipment pen was kind of a pain. Um, the fence went behind the tack room and well house, and you came in at an angle. So now we've done what to it? We moved the gate. So that way it's easier to drive into now. Okay. And the old tack room is gone. Yep. Um, just the well house is standing now. But, uh, and we did move that fence up to the front part of the well house, correct? Yes. Okay, so this is the old east pen. Now we have done a lot of work in there, correct? Yes. We've divided it, and it's what? The holding pen, there's a horse stall there, and the man pen. Okay, so we've made three pens out of it, and um, we had to build a new shed, correct? Yes, the old we one blew down the storm, and we put up a new one. Okay, so there's the front part of the arena, and then... That is now the holding pen. Yep, there it is. Okay, so here is the roping arena. And it was always grown up with weeds and all that kind of stuff. And now... It looks good. You can even see that we put the horse shed back there behind it. And it is not all grown up anymore. For the most part, the old place has stayed the same. We did have... Uh, we've added a chicken coop, right? And... Yep. And I'm working on building some horse stalls. Okay. And we even divided the pasture so that it better suits our accommodations, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so as you can see, um, over the years, things really have changed. Um, it, it doesn't look like it if you're just joining us now. Everybody has commented how pretty it is, but it wasn't always that way, was it? Uh, how old were you when you moved out here? I was six. Six. That's right, because we had to have your birthday party at Pizza Hut, huh? Because there was boxes everywhere, and he was so mad. Only time mad. we were birthday party away from the house. Yep. Um, and he really didn't want to have it at Pizza Hut. But we made up for it with what? Because you got a big birthday gift that year. It was something that had been done. Um, like three of us went in and got, what was that, a Game Boy or Game Advanced or something? something. Some kind of little computer thing. And then, of course, when we get busy with the farm, he didn't even really pay much attention to it. Anyway, so, but now how old are you now? 19. 19, so that means we've been out oh, here good I'm old. 13 years, almost 14, because in October you'll be 20. So, 
Yeah. I'm old, folks. I'm old. Yeah, no, he's not. So we put a lot of time and effort into it. So You're just ancient. I'm old. I'm an antique. <laughs> I'm aged like a fine wine. No. Um, anyway. Uh, we hope and that pops and snaps <laughs> and crackles. That's enough. Um, we hope that you like the update this way. Um, it's not going to be an every week, week thing. Just let us know um, if you'd like to see more vlog style um, videos or if you like the way we're going now. Uh, we've got a lot of different viewers and newer viewers coming in. So I don't think the weekly updates will ever go away because I really enjoy doing them, even though he's dorky. We'll see you next time. Bye. See ya. I'm on the app.